Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to my personal YouTube channel. <clears throat> Let's try that again. It's so fucking bright, dude. You guys see how bright it is? Jesus, fuck. Why am I doing this? Hey, you know what's really cool about having your own YouTube channel like this? Your own personal YouTube channel? Is that I have the ability now to put in as much or as little effort as I can muster for these videos. So, check this out. This here is a quick little... What would you call it? Like a podcast? I wouldn't call it a podcast. A podcast is like long form, like an hour long. I would just call this like a session, like a talking session. I don't know what the fuck to call it. Anyway, this is a video. I just turned the mic on, I turned the camera on, and I just spoke. And it goes from me talking about UFC 2, or me talking about UFC 221, which just happened yesterday, as of today. It just happened yesterday in Australia. I'm talking about that for about two minutes, and then at the two minute mark, I just go off on this fucking long tangent, this long rant about religion and why I don't like it and I mentioned maybe some of the I whatever I go on a rant and that's what I'm doing here so this is the intro to that video hope you guys enjoy this is my fucking personal YouTube channel what's up my name is Ulysses Duran I don't have much to say right now I'm just trying to get videos out quick and fast and be precise this is my practice this is me just going right fuck jump cuts yo I love jump cuts though I do it's just so much work with the editing <sighs> anyway alright guys Enjoy the video. See you guys at the end for a quick little outro. And hope you guys enjoy. Leave a thumbs up, like, all that shit. Bye. All right. Holy shit. UFC 221. UFC 221 happened last night in Perth, Australia. And let me fucking tell you guys. Holy fucking shit. Personally, I was rooting for Luke Rockhold. I wanted Luke to win. And I also wanted Mark Hunt to win. Unfortunately, both lost but this is the fighting game we all need to as a community we all need to be more accepting of losses this isn't boxing we don't have undefeated here this isn't how this works just like any other sport you lose some you win some the difference here is that this sport this blood sport is so much more than that so what's the point of this video i don't know i'm just talking that happened last night and i was really excited I was watching on Instagram. Yo, shout out to Instagram. I use Instagram to watch all of the live v events, like every single pay-per-view. I'll just type in hashtag, like for example, last night it was hashtag UFC 221. You tap that into, into Instagram, you click the search, and you'll find all sorts of videos of people that people are uploading of the fight. Of course, it's in a couple second intervals. Now it's in a, dude, I literally used to watch it on Instagram when it was only 15 seconds. I used to sit there and watch like entire matches as people posted them in 15 second intervals. Now, they do like a full minute, which is nice. But, anyway, yeah, that's how I watched my, that's how I watched my fucking experience, my UFC experience. That's how I, I did last night. I, I was sitting here, I was watching it on Instagram, and I saw the knockout. The Luke knockout. Yo, shout out to Yoel Romero, though. I don't fucking like the guy, I'm gonna tell you why. Because he's so jesus -y. He's all about fucking soldier of God. I don't know, dude. I don't like God. I don't like the religion and this idea of their God or a God. And it just it pisses me off because as far as I'm concerned, having people like that is bad. It's bad for, for us as a society to have people in positions of power or people in positions of success who are attributing, attributing it all, all, almost always. They're attributed all. Oh, thank you, God. I want to thank God. I want to thank, thank, you know. They attribute it all to this fucking non-existent thing, which hurts many, many people. I am 100,000% re against religion, and all of it. Someone said, what about Buddhism? Motherfucker, I don't know. I'm not trying to be specific here, I'm just saying all religion in general, bro. The idea, the concept, the whole smorgasmore behind religion as an institution is is it's fucked up it's based on ignorance it's based on wives tales and superstitions and it hurts people that's my biggest problem people say oh live and let live you know you should be free to believe what you want to believe bro you can believe what you want to believe you can believe that fucking chimpanzees uh, fucking beamed us down from mars and that's how we all got here i don't give a fuck if you believe that what i give a fuck is that when too many people start believing this shit you guys all get to get to bunch up and group together and start passing laws, legislation. You guys are doing real harm to the world. Not just the country. I mean, the fucking world would be better without religion. If we could just, like, think for ourselves and say, no, there is no higher being. 
Let's fucking get our shit together now. There's no such thing as an afterlife. Let's make this life count. And no, my argument is not so much about their belief of an afterlife. Because as far as I'm concerned, some people need fucking coping mechanisms. And some people need that for their sanctity of mind. That when I die, when my kid died, when my mama died, when these things happen, they're not gone forever. They're somewhere waiting for me. You know, any sort of afterlife idea that you have, that's fine. That's not my fucking problem here. My problem is the judgment My problem is the hatred that comes from religion. The hatred for others of other religions. The hate towards your fellow man and quiet judgment that you give them based on your holy scriptures that you fucking read at the dinner table. I mean, fuck. I hate religion. I hate it so much. The same way I hate racists. You know, because racists wish death upon those that they dislike. That's the same way I hate religion. The difference here is I don't wish death upon the racists. I don't wish death upon these televangelists. No. I wish upon them a good ass beating maybe. But I'm not trying to, I don't want no one dead. That's the problem. That, that's, that's the difference between the, the person on the right side and the person on the wrong side. Yes, I'm saying if, if push came to shove, then something needs to be done about these fucking treacherous beings on this planet Earth known as racist and these religious fundamentalists. Yes, we should, we should do something if we're being attacked, if they are doing what they're doing, which is gang, trying to gang up on everyone else. Passing these fucking laws that only help them. Everything, oh, Kane, what are you talking about laws? Like, specifically, what are you talking about law? Motherfucker, look it up. I'm not going to sit here and fucking do disclaimer after disclaimer and explanation after explanation and go on the side road. Oh, well, let me, let me just, let me, let me not generalize. Oh, not all men. Oh, I didn't mean all white people. I know that statistically it's impossible for all cops. No, fuck that. I speak the way I want to speak. I speak in absolutes to get a fucking point across. The president of this country that I happen to live in, Donald Duck, a fucking TV, a reality TV star that as the president right now, uses generalizing statements all the time against people of color, against women, against whoever the fuck he feels fit to generalize. But when, when we do it, when people on the left, when people on the rational side try to say, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, yo, fuck that, fuck the all right. Fuck all those people at, at Unite the Right. They're all racist. And you guys want to say, well, well, well. It's not nice to make generalizing statements. Yo, fuck you, motherfucker. That's all you do is make generalizing statements. But, but you get real upset when we do it. Yeah, well, good. That's the fucking point. To upset you. To cause a commotion. To get you talking. People talk about protest. A quiet protest. A quiet protest. That's an oxymoron if I've ever fucking heard one. A quiet protest. Get the fuck out of here. And I'm not dogging on anyone in the past who has done these types of activism. That's okay. That is needed. We thank you. What I'm saying is this is not the way I want to pursue my activism. Is sitting down. Having a fucking shut in. No, fuck that. I'm going online. I'm going to the only place that will allow me to speak my mind without censorship. And that is here on the internet. I can say whatever the fuck I want. And come at me, bro. Yo, fuck YouTube too. YouTube and all this demonetization shit. As far as I'm concerned, I understand why they started doing it. But it's hurt. It's hurting good people. So I don't give a fuck. About YouTube and it's ads. I give a fuck about my fans, my followers, my friends, my family. Anyone who's willing to support me financially through like Patreon, through donations. You jump on my Twitch stream. You you donate a dollar here or there. You donate 50 cents. Whatever the fuck you can afford. Whatever. The point is I am not going to be... I am not going to be held down by the idea of... Oh, I might be demonetized. Or oh, I'm not going to make any money off this video. Or oh, these ads. Fuck these ads. Fuck those cents. I don't give a shit. I'm making good quality videos. I'm talking about things that fucking matter. So I don't want your fucking pennies. 
YouTube. Keep him, bro. I've been making videos, start getting 100 million fucking views, and I still don't give a fuck about that money.